Hey guys, today I will be showing you the Snowshoes Game Pass or permanent item in the store of Northern Frontier. So it says here these snowshoes will help you walk quicker in the snow. I have tried them and it does work. So you'll see, yes, it does work. I don't think it actually change, it makes it where you go. I don't think it actually changes your walk speed. I'm pretty sure it makes it go where the regular walk speed, but just the, I don't know, I'm used to it always slowing me down, so I feel like it's gonna slow me down, but like it doesn't. See, it's the same walk speed as on path, but it still does take away your warmth. So what this can be used for is just cutting across instead of taking the trail all the way around. I can just go straight over the snow or the trail, cut corners. And if you're chasing someone, you will be faster than them. If you can catch up to them, if you need to kill somebody or you need to run from somebody, you can get away. So that's how that is very useful. Um, as for the looks of it, like how, how it looks on your character, it does not put them on your feet like it would, like you'd actually be wearing them. Instead, it actually just, if you, I don't know if you notice, it puts them on your back. So I'll take off my backpack right here. And you can see it shows them, but... If you're spending 200 Robux in this game, you probably have a backpack. So that's kind of disappointing that it doesn't really show them, but you can still sort of see them. It's cool. And I have died many times with these. You do not lose them. They are permanent unless you drop them. But obviously you're not going to drop them because you paid a lot for them. So is it worth the 200 Robux or around $2? For these snowshoes um for someone who really enjoys the game and plays it quite often i'd say yes but if you're just getting into it you might want to actually find out that you like the game or not because i don't know you just don't want to spend money right away but i do think it, it's worth it if you play it a lot and you are a fighter because it is very useful to get around fast and yeah, that's really all I have to say about this uh, product. It is useful, helpful. I So far, it's been great help to me. I love it. So, it's your choice. You want to buy it. Um, so, that's all, really. Um, there's a fight going on over there. Um, uh, if you... Like I said, it's your choice. I don't know. It's up to you. It does work very well. You see, you can walk. I, instead of taking the path, I can go faster. Cut it right over here, you know. Whatever you want to do, it's just faster. Um, so, that's all for this video. If you want to see me review other products, such as the Robust Axe, I already have a knapsack. I don't need it. I'm pretty sure it's the same size as what I currently have, but um, the swift fishing pool, I don't really do a lot of fishing, so that's not useful for me, but the robust axe would be a nice tool because I do get all my arrows from cutting down trees. The bow is my primary weapon, unless I'm, well, I don't really go in James Bay as often because I can get a lot easier now. I don't have any safe zone. I used to use Blunderbuss, but now I'm only just mainly just use bow, and that's it. But um, if you want to see me review the Robust X, please let me know because I definitely will. Um, I'm not planning on reviewing any of these. I think they're all a waste of money because you can lose the tools you get. The clothing is not that cool. It just screams loot me. I don't like any of these. These are all waste. But these are actually considerable. Maybe not the backpacks, but these three are very helpful tools. So I will be reviewing at least the robust axe if you guys want me to. Um, if they do add more cl native clothing, I will review that too. And also I had a suggestion to show a video of me raiding James Bay. I will do that maybe in the next coming days. So that's really all for this video. I hope it was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.